This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Very good evening and welcome to Headlines Now. I'm Evelyn Matthew. The next half hour is power packed and brimming with lots of updates from today's poll action. I'm Amit Shmit Kumar and I'll of course be getting you all the updates that we have been discussing. Again, to bring you the latest on the biggest stakeholders, we have an all star lineup of our own Cash for Votes. Now, this only too familiar tune was heard again loud and clear, in fact, from Madurai when we have our senior editor Radhika Ayer joining us live. to share the latest uh, from madurai at this point but the cash for votes it seems was not restricted to madurai alone our very own special team got exclusive footage of questionable transactions to say the least to influence voters lokpriya joins us for more on these explosive visuals well they came and they saw and they voted the fate of the biggest players of the state was inked on evns today but it will be a month's painful wait for the deciding results not tamil nadu alone Puducherry is in the same boat. Pratiksha Ram Kumar has been pitched in the Union Territory ever since John broke. She joins us. Along with her is Krishna Murthy, who joins us with a first-time voter as well. And finally, it wasn't smooth sailing for all the voters. The non-functional EVMs to rights under 49O being violated. My colleague Divya will be telling us all about such issues that were raised today. Now, but before we come to all of these uh, headlines, let's first look at the top stories hitting the headlines at this hour. Is there another scam in the making? NDTV Hindu catches voters being bribed with cold cash and hot biryani on polling day itself. The mix and grind up polls are building up to a climax with all stakeholders claiming victory. Analysts say this is the litmus test for many heavyweights. Yeah, hello, hello. I'm quite confident that the people will give us a decisive mandate and a clear majority to rule the state. Heat is no match for Tamil Nadu's political heat. Voters come out in large numbers. Turnout recorded at over 75 percent for Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu also we used webcasting live, beamed into the central control room and on the net internet. 9,500 polling stations were covered by live webcast. Serious section 49O puzzles election officials. Voters complain that they are robbed of their right to not vote. Everyone left the booth smiling, while some complained of their names missing from the rolls. Unexpected names of bereaved show up. When a corporation of Chennai issues a death certificate, how can that person be in the polling list? First-time voters are visibly excited. Don't shy away from the heat, but partake in the election process to elect their leader. I think the um, youngsters have to come out and cast their vote to begin with, and I think that difference has happened in the past couple of years. Superstar Rajni Khan decide to walk the tight political rope, and any TV Hindu exclusive with his family. He will do it when the right time time comes. But you don't think he's ruling out that option? Um, I don't want to say anything for my dad, but uh, no, I think he will do when the right time comes. Whatever has to be done. Now to begin with, uh, some may call this uh, food for thought. Biryani, generously distributed near the Sankara School in uh, Trivandrum, which falls under the Verachari constituency, caught on camera. I remind you, exclusively by our team, uh, Peer Mohammed and camera person Devraj. Even as the Vigilant Election Commission tried to stop the cash for votes trend in the state and successfully seized over 54 crore rupees, attempts at influencing voters were still being made till the very last hour. <laughs>
And joining us live right now is uh, our reporter Lokpriya who joins us from the newsrooms live. Lokpriya, you were out on the fields yourself and, and uh, uh, did get accounts of uh, perhaps events like this. What more did you really see and hear? Well, Evelyn and Ashmit, remember today is a paid holiday for almost all of the state government employees and also for a lot of other people. So what people really will be looking for is to have a really nice lunch and what better way to uh, for a lunch other than a biryani. So that's exactly what a, a, a certain political party in the state uh, capitalized upon and was uh, seen distributing free biryanis to the people who came to vote in Velicheri. And Velicheri is uh, not an isolated case. In many parts of the city, we were seeing liquor and uh, hot biryanis that were being given a kind of inducement for the voters and kind of bribing gone are the days for cash the immediate effect is biryani so that's really what the uh, political party capitalized upon because it's a hot day and people would really want to be have, want to have a good lunch and biryani seemed to be the perfect option to fit that particular bill and also the EC had had several restrictions on even liquor sale but uh, we we saw uh, selling of liquor illegally in a lot of other outlets in uh, the Chennai state Right, Lokpriya, thanks a lot for joining in with all those visuals. Now, of course, uh, those visuals uh, say a thousand words. Let's move ahead now. In the last 25 days, the Election Commission says it has uh, seized over 40 crore rupees cash across the state of Tamil Nadu. Now, Madurai is usually seen as the centre for violence and violations. Thankfully, the region didn't see any violence today. But the case... Well, but the cases of violations have been uh, aplenty. Many locals admit on camera that they were offered money by politicians cutting across the party lines. In fact, our senior editor, uh, English News, Radhika Ayer, has this report. In the history of Tamil Nadu politics, this election has seen the maximum number of cases of violation filed by the Election Commission. In just the last three days, 1,400 cases of violation has been reported across the state, most of them related to alleged distribution of cash to voters. But the Election Commission admits that the crackdown has not been 100%. Lakshmi, the wife of an inspector in Mulainagar in Madurai, is relieved that the polling has been peaceful. But being a policeman's wife has not stopped politicians from offering her money in exchange of a vote. Lakshmi says she was offered up to 500 rupees from a candidate during campaigning, which she refused to accept. <laughs> Some voters, however, openly admit that they received cash. Sources say the rate for a vote ranges from 100 to even 1,500 rupees depending on the candidate, the party and the constituency. Just weeks ago, the commission ordered the transfer of the Madurai collector and some top-level police officers for allegedly allowing violation of the code of conduct. Uh, the election commission cracked down, particularly in Madurai, which uh, saw the transfer of uh, a collector, somebody as high as a collector and of course uh, the IG. Uh, a lot of people have to say that it's got to do with you directly. What's your comment to that? That's not the election. It's not the election. It's the the when it comes to cash seizures or freebies during elections, Tamil Nadu tops the list. We have travelled from Kanyakumari to Kanchipuram to find out the pulse of the people. What many have told us across the state, whether irrespective of an AIA DMK or a DMK stronghold, is that there are alleged power cuts, particularly in the evenings, and that is when, during the dark, is when during door-to-door -door campaigning, cash was being distributed to the voters. Ironically, power cuts have become a key issue this election. With camera person Pradeep in Madurai, Radhika Ayer, NDTV. Right, for more on this, let's go across to our senior editor, Radhika Ayer, who's joining us live from Madurai. Now, Radhika, a quick question here. Now, Election Commission uh, did have a lot of measures, and although the violations, uh, the, there was no violence, but as you mentioned in your uh, package there, again, a lot of violations were observed if reports are to be believed. Can you give us a sense of, again, the situation right now in Madurai? 
Well, Madurai is happy that it has uh, finished the big job of uh, an 8 to 5 job of having to uh, choose their government for the next five years. When the clock turned five this evening, uh, we knew that Tamil Nadu has voted for uh, their leaders and what kind of role they need to play. Tamil Nadu had decided the fate of uh, political leaders for the next five years. Well, we did see a bit of uh, tension and violence in Melur, particularly in Madurai. To give you two incidents, uh, one, of course, was the fact that about 20 DMK men were detained by the Madurai SP uh, after they were uh, suspiciously found lingering around a polling booth for quite some time to try perhaps to influence voters or perhaps even provoke violence. And soon after which, within hours within Melur itself in Madurai, there was a clash between a DMK and an AI DMK group and after which uh, we are told by sources that two, uh, rather three uh, persons have been critically injured, one belonging to the ADMK camp and one to the uh, DMK camp. In fact, one person from the ADMK seems to have been detained. So these are a few incidents and thankfully the election commission and the police made sure that this does not become as rampant as we saw in the last election. So Madurai really witnessed a peaceful and of course uh, South Tamil Nadu per se and across the state there was peaceful and free and fair polling of course uh, polling percentage touching about 70 percent and that's something uh, that we were looking forward to considering a little more than uh, what happened in 2006 is a welcome change uh, an indication that people despite the heat despite the violence despite the violation are coming out in large numbers to try and cast their vote and particularly so in a politically significant Madurai because uh, the trend of course is that if you win South Tamil Nadu then you go on and win the state. Well, we'll have to wait till the 13th of May for that. But thanks very much indeed, uh, Radhika, for joining us with your inputs there. Now, polling has been on since early morning uh, for the 234 uh, assembly seats here in the state in a single-faced election manner. Both the AIA, DMK and the DMK have gone uh, to the hustings with strong alliances. But the question on everyone's mind is whether AIA, DMK chief J. Lalita backs the punch to knock out Beth Noir and DMK Chief Minister M. Karunanidhi backed by the Congress. An 8 to 5 job for Tamil Nadu's 4.7 crore voters to give either Jayalalitha or Karunanidhi a five-year mandate to rule the state. Both these Dravidian heavyweights have wooed the electorate with freebies, mixies, grinders, laptops, gold, even goats and cows. Although officially the campaign ended at 5 p.m. on Monday, there has been no let-up in the political temperature. The daggers were out even on polling day. On instructions from the Chief Minister, the Chief Secretary is going to refuse to pay the daily wages of the security personnel now the chief secretary i believe is going to say or rather has already said yesterday that these security personnel are just idling away this election has witnessed star wars of a different kind with actors rooting for both sides but the biggest superstar remained neutral the ruling DMK has rubbished opinion polls, predicting an edge for the AIA DMK owing to a possible 2G backlash. I think the English news channels would love to beat the DMK on uh, all these issues. But let's be very clear. Let's look at uh, Tamil Nadu from Tamil Nadu, not from Delhi or Mumbai or anywhere else. In Tamil Nadu, people are very, very clear. They want Kalingar. It's just not corruption charges. The ruling DMK faces another big challenge, anti-incumbency. But the party says it's just a media creation. Southern Tamil Nadu will be a litmus test not just for the electoral outcome, but also for the DMK's Madurai strongman who plans to return to Tamil Nadu politics. If uh, MK Stalin has to win Kolathur constituency, then you have to win 58 seats right in South Tamil Nadu. What do you have to say? So Stalin is the only one in Tamil Nadu. I am not the only one in Tamil Nadu. One third of the polling stations across South Tamil Nadu has been termed as sensitive. But the paradox is that the polling percentage in this region has been on a steady rise, as high as 89% in the recent by poll in Tirumangalam in 2009. An indication perhaps that the voter here knows that despite the heat, violence and the violation, Madurai's mandate, largely according to trend, is the state's mandate. This has been the shortest or the most bitter campaign in Tamil Nadu and also the longest wait for the results in the history of elections in the state. Exactly a month. 
with Vadika Ayer in Madurai and Sam Daniel in Chennai, Sanjay Pinto, NDTV. The big pole fever and our continuous coverage continues right here on NDTV Hindu. We'll be right back. Thank you.